the most poisonous plants in the world. In this video, we picked one of the most poisonous plants that you should be aware of and keep away from if you ever come across it – the water hemlock. It has a particularly deceiving look. However, don't let its look trick you. It's a very dangerous and highly poisonous plant. We rely on plants for many things to help us with our lives, from building our houses, using them for different products, as well as using them as a source of food and drink. Many plants have potent healing abilities to cure many diseases naturally. They provide ergonomic living and working spaces, and they're an excellent source for animal feed that exclusively feeds on it. Another name for water hemlock is the cicuta. This very poisonous plant belongs to a small genus of four species that are extremely poisonous. These perennial herbaceous plants, which means that it's a type of plant that lives more than two years, has no woody part where the part above ground dies in the winter months and grows back in the spring from their own crown. These plants can grow up to a height of 2.5 meters, or 8.2 feet. They have green and white flowers organized in an umbrella form. These types of plants grow in a temperate climate and can be found mostly in the northern part of the Earth, mainly in North America and Europe. They usually grow in wet fields or along a stream bank or other swampy places. The stem of the plant is forking, straight, even, and hollow, apart from the forking at the diverging of the leaves and the stem. At the base of its stem is a tuberous root with thickened rootstocks, meaning that they have thickened roots in the underground part of the plant with rootstock, a rootstock part of a plant that can be grafted or merged from a different plant. The water hemlock rootstock is multi-chambered and has an oily liquid yellow-colored substance that turns red when it's exposed to air. Strangely, the substance smells like carrot or parsnip. Another principle of a biological property of the cicutoxin is an allergic reaction, a capability to aggravate the skin or mucous membranes and their antibacterial activity. So it's a chemical structure closely related to the enanthotoxin, which is a poison that affects the central nervous system. The cicutoxin exists in all growth stages and parts of the water hemlock. However, it's mostly concentrated in the roots and appears to be the most toxic at the beginning of spring. The poisonous effect of the cicutoxin acts as a stimulant to the central nervous system. It's a non-competitive GABA, which stands for gamma amino butyric acid, and is the primary inhibitory neurotransmitter in a mammal's central nervous system. Its principal role is reducing neuronal excitability throughout the nervous system. If anyone God forbid consumes any amount of this toxin, it can be fatal. There are records dating back to 1670 where people had extreme poisoning and even died from the consumption of the water hemlock. There are records from the 20th and 21st century where people have been poisoned and died from it. Any amount consumed of the water hemlock can result in poisoning, and this amount could be small drops to small pieces being ingested. There are some reports of children who were poisoned by it because they made a blow whistle from the stem of the plant. There was a case reported of a family who only rubbed the plant on their skin and got poisoned, and two children died as a result of this contact with the surface of their skin. The most affected by the water hemlock are livestock. The poisoning of a herd is typical and takes place after the animal consumes the root of the deadly plant, unknowingly of course. During the springtime, when the soil is moist, the cows, for instance, would pull the entire plant from the ground and consume the most toxic part of the plant, which is its roots. Death of the livestock can occur in only 15 minutes, if not less. What are the symptoms if anyone consumes the water hemlock? They will experience a generalized seizure, which affects the cerebral hemispheres. 
The cerebral hemispheres simply mean the two sides of the brain with connecting tissues and nerves. The widespread confiscation produces loss of consciousness, either briefly or for an extended period of time, and the symptoms will appear in as little as 15 minutes after the consumption of the plant. Before a generalized seizure takes place, the victim might experience some or all of the following. Dizziness. Confusion. Abdominal pain. Tremors or shaking. Vomiting. Drowsiness. Nausea. And weakness. Alongside the generalized seizure, other activities may include a decrease in the pH blood level or metabolic acidosis. According to Wikipedia, metabolic acidosis is a condition that occurs when the body produces excessive quantities of acid or when the kidneys are not removing enough acid from the body. Also, the person might experience upon consumption of the water hemlock blood coagulation disorder, swelling in the brain, kidney failure, and skeletal muscle breakdown. Additional neurological symptoms might consist of tingling hallucinations, coma, dilated pupils, and numbness of a person's skin. A person could also experience cardiovascular symptoms such as high or low blood pressure and rapid heartbeat or slow heart rate. Death usually happens due to respiratory failure, which is a condition when there isn't enough oxygen passing from your lungs into your blood. Your body's organs, such as your heart and brain, need oxygen-rich blood to function properly. Respiratory failure can also take place if your lungs are unable to efficiently remove carbon dioxide, a waste gas, from your blood. Excess volume of carbon dioxide in the blood can harm your body's organs. Both of these problems, a low oxygen level and a high carbon dioxide level in the blood, can occur at the same time, according to heart.org. Ventricular fibrillation is a disordered electrical activity that causes the heart's lower chambers, ventricles, to quiver or fibrillate instead of contracting or beating normally. This prohibits the heart from pumping blood, causing collapse and cardiac arrest. Death has happened within a few hours of consumption. People who are lucky to get treatment quickly from experts in water hemlock poisoning usually recuperate within 24 to 48 hours. However, seizures may continue for up to 96 hours. Long-term effects occasionally occur, such as retrograde amnesia, which is a type of memory loss condition where a person can't remember anything that took place before the incident, like they've forgotten the past. There are also other mild, persistent effects which may include restlessness, muscle weakness, jerking, and nervousness. Some of these symptoms may continue for days or even months. So, what type of therapy might a victim expect upon ingesting the plant? Well, they might require gastrointestinal cleansing with activated charcoal. Activated charcoal is used in the emergency treatment of certain kinds of poisoning. It helps prevent the poison from being absorbed from the stomach into the body. Sometimes, several doses of activated charcoal are needed to treat severe poisoning, and it's performed only if the patient has consumed the substance up to one hour before, and they have a normal undamaged airway or is intubated, where they insert a breathing tube inside the person's mouth to help them inhale and exhale air. Unfortunately, there's no known antidote for the toxins of the water hemlock. Other treatment might consist of controlling the seizures with different medication which can create their own side effects. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of any future videos.